YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Bulba, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day, like always. Up next on the list of player reviews, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Showdown SBC card for Bino Gittins. Bino Gittins is a 93 rated card. He has high medium work rates, right footed with five star skill moves and four star weak foot. Now, we do see a lot of versatility with the card as he can play both sides of the pitch. He can play the left wing, right mid, left mid, and right wing positions. And if you guys do recall last year in FIFA 23, he did have a Showdown SBC card, so he's back. If we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is pretty well-rounded from an attacking perspective. He does have 95 pace overall with 93 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. I think the pace and the dribbling is probably going to be the two standout stats for the card. You can maybe go ahead and give him the hawk to get really close to maxing out the pace. The 90 shooting is going to be a really important stat for the card because we do need him to be very clinical while providing a lot of chances. He does have 91 attacking positioning, 93 finishing, 88 shot power, and 85 long shots. He does have the finesse shot playstyle plus, so I'm leaning more towards the hot chemistry style the 87 passing is a decent stat for the card nothing too crazy he does have 90 crossing 90 short pass 83 long pass and 90 curve now the 91 dribbling is going to be a huge part to his game because i think that you're going to be able to create a lot of chances with him when you go ahead and pair his passing and his dribbling he does have 93 agility 91 balance 88 reactions 89 ball control with the five star skill moves he should be very quick and swift on the ball now he does also have 77 defending so if you maybe run the 4-3-2-1 where one of your center forwards drops back to a 4-4-2 he can maybe do that role pretty well and then last but not least boys 85 physical for the card as well really good stamina at 92 88 strength and 66 aggression yeah man i think the hawk is probably your best option to really help out with the aggression now if we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that by no gittins does have nine different play styles he has the finesse shot pinked pass and rapid play style pluses and i think all three of the play style pluses that he does have are really effective in game especially the rapid and the finesse shot he does also have the incisive pass whipped pass technical quick step relentless and trivella man so the card is most definitely set up to where he's like a playmaker in game now he can have the controlled explosive and controlled acceleration types and when it comes to chemistry styles boys there's probably two options that are going to work really well with the card the first one is the hawk chemistry style and the hawk is going to give him the controlled acceleration type with 98 pace overall it's also going to give him 95 shooting really helping out with the attacking positioning finishing shot power and long shots and then last but not least and most importantly it's also going to give him 89 physical 92 strength and 74 aggression he doesn't have the biggest of builds in game so it's going to be quite interesting to see how strong he is now the second chemistry style that you can go ahead and give him is most definitely the dead eye and the dead eye is going to give him the controlled explosive it's going to give him 96 shooting overall with 99 attacking positioning 99 finishing and 99 shot power it doesn't get much better than that and then it's also going to give him 92 passing overall i think if you want him to be more of a playmaker the dead eye is the better option because he is going to have 95 vision and 99 short pass as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new bino gittins card we're going to be playing him as the left sided center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the new bino gittins showdown card as you guys know we did go ahead and do a play review on hostelu and it was a really good sbc to go ahead and complete we're coming up against burkham chapi alonzo zaha sane uh fred lucas vasquez it's an interesting team but yeah man the plan is to go ahead and play him as a left-sided center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation where he is a bit of a goal scorer but then also a playmaker all right boys first things first let's go ahead and test out the cards dribbling probably going to be the standout stat alongside his pace he does have really good agility really good balance also the five star skill moves this guy's a little bit aggressive with the way that he plays chill out now i can already tell man that this is going to be a very scrappy game Bino Gittins touch finesse shot play style plus it's a good block by the defender we're definitely going to have to test out a lot of those Bino Gittins I'm going to try to get him in behind man because I think with this pace that's probably the best way to go ahead and incorporate him Odegaard over top Bino Gittins touch does have the whipped pass play style that's a really good ball into Malin he probably should be getting himself an assist man but if you give him the dead eye chemistry style his passing is going to be even better now we do have a corner and I'm pretty sure that's him edge of the box ball roll finesse shot play style plus Wow, man, it saved onto the crossbar. That's a really good attempt. I'm actually going to play this into Fakir and then just try to get him in behind. Good attacking positioning again. Touch, touch, ball roll. Look for the cutback. Malin finish. That's good, man. As a playmaker, I think the technical side to his game is going to be really good. Final Gittins. A little bit of R1 dribbling right here. Fake shot. Skill move. Five-star skill moves. And again. Oh, that's nice, boys. Oh, he just doesn't have the physicality right there to hold off the defender. But great dribbling again in and around the box. Now we can spring into a counter attack, and obviously, uh, Bino Gittins on the counter is going to be very effective. Hustle, nice. Gittins, good touch. Four star weak foot. 
That's a good finish, man. The hot chemistry style so far is working really well. All right, boys, into the second half we go, and so far, so good. Let's see if we maybe get off, like, straight from kickoff. Straight from kickoff. By no gittins. Look at that touch, man. Rapid play style plus. I'm going to go Trivella near post. That pace is just too much, man. Now, you can most definitely go ahead and give him the Deadeye Chemistry style. He's still going to be very quick in game. But I feel like with the Hawk, that extra bit of pace goes a long way. I see him. That's nice. I think right here, I'm just going to try to get him in behind. Use him as like a decoy. Odegaard. That's a lovely ball, man. Bino Gittins touch on the volley. Four-star weak foot. It's a decent attempt. We didn't have much support right there. But again, the attacking positioning has been really consistent. Let's play down the line. That's a good ball. Now, we do have a little bit of support right there with Daniel Malin. I think I'm just going to try to run uh, down the byline. Look for the cutback. It's a good one for Kier. Let's go, boys. By no Gittins as the playmaker. Another really good pass. All right, boys. Here we are jumping into game number two. We're coming up against Joao Felix, Close, Bowen, Stanway, Burkham, Gundogan. It's a very interesting team. But yeah, man, as you guys know, the cost of the SBC is roughly 100,000 coins. If you do run a Bundesliga team, I would go ahead and complete the SBC. How do I get this to him? I'm just going to go ahead and just thump it up the pitch. I know Gittins, nice touch. Oh, boys, the rapid play style plus. That's incredible. We'll go for a finesse shot as well. That's what he does, man. That's what he does. The finesse shot play style plus is still so OP in game, especially with the hot chemistry style. The extra long shots and uh, shot power goes a long way. Nice. Hernandez down this left-hand side again. I'm going to try to maybe overload the left-hand side a little bit more. Just so that we have a little bit more support. I know Gittins, good touch. There goes the rapid play style plus. Fake shot. You know what? The dribbling right there was really good. I think that the, fe uh, the fake shot messed us up. Osolu. Good hold up play right there. Bino Gittins, good attacking positioning. The touch is nice, but just doesn't have the physicality. I think even with the hot chemistry style, he isn't the strongest of players. Like, the strength that he gets doesn't feel like that in game. We'll switch it into Malin. And now we just have to time the over top through ball. Odegaard. What a ball. Bino Gittins. Good touch. I think we go near post right here. Bino Gittins, that's nice, man. Good physicality right there to hold off the center back as well. We needed that. Nice, nice, nice. Bino Gittins, just drill it through the middle. Osalu. I'm taking that as an assist. I'm taking that as an assist, boys. We'll take it. Good pass right there. A little bit of a playmaker. Bino Gittins, man. If we can time this, we're going to be in behind. I think we're onside, boys. I think we're inside. Bino Gittins. Finesse shot, play style plus. Come on, man. Come on, man. The pace right there, exquisite, opens up his body perfectly and just wraps it top corner. It's what he does, man. I think if I had to choose between Sancho and Bino Gittins, I'd, I'd, go, with, I'd go with Bino Gittins. Now, there are only four minutes left in this game. We don't have to force it, but I low-key kind of want to. Bino Gittins? There's no way, boys. There's no way we're getting to that. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Showdown SBC by No Get Ins card in a few games of Foot Champions. And to be completely honest, I think it's a really good player for the price. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the hot chemistry style. So 97 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. When you go ahead and pair that with the rapid play style plus, he was just so quick in game, especially in the last couple moments in that final game that we played. The 90 shooting, a phenomenal stat for the card with the hot chemistry style. He does have 95 attacking positioning and 97 finishing with the the net shot play style plus he was very clinical now the 87 passing was a stat that i was maybe a little bit worried about especially if you want to go ahead and use him as a playmaker but for the most part man his passing was actually quite accurate in game 90 crossing with the whipped pass 90 short pass 83 long pass and 90 curve pretty good now the 91 dribbling alongside the 95 pace was the standout stat in my opinion with the five star skill moves 93 agility and 91 balance he was very quick and swift on the ball and i feel like when you go ahead and pair his dribbling and his passing with his pace you can create a lot of chances with him and then last but not least, boys, the 85 physical with the hot chemistry style. He does have 92 strength, but in all honesty, it didn't really feel like that in game. Now, as you guys know, we did go ahead and give Hustle a 9.1 out of 10 rating. And I think I'm going to go ahead and give Bino Gittins a 9.1 as well. I definitely think that he fits this year's style of play. If you like your smaller, more intricate type of players that are really good on the ball. I think when you go ahead and pair the technical side to his game to the physical side, when it comes to like his pace, it's very difficult to defend against him. And like I said, man, he does have the potential of getting a plus two upgrade, becoming a 95 rated card. I think if you run a Bundesliga team, I would go ahead and complete the SBC because even if Dortmund don't end up winning the final, it's still a pretty decent value SBC for only 100,000 coins. But yeah, man, overall, a really solid player. If you do have tons of fodder, I would go ahead and complete the SBC just in case Dortmund do end up winning the Champions League final. If you are in need of a super sub and you do have a lot of fodder, I think the Bino Gains card is a pretty good value SBC and I would highly recommend them. But that is going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to 
the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy booba and i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace